talk about the anatomy of a lightning strike. What goes into something that uh, somewhere on the earth every second is striking? And we know this morning in Dallas is a great example of what's going on. Well, it starts with rising air motion and water vapor and water vapor condenses. It cools. You form the clouds, but you also get water in the form of rain in there and hail and ice crystals and grapples and things like that. And with those type of things, you are now beginning to build up charge in the cloud itself. Negatively charged particles at the base of the cloud, positively charged articles, particles way up in the anvil. A lot of the lightning guys, 75 to 80 percent of it actually happens up in the cloud. But there's also positively charged particles on the ground. And so how do you break that insulator between the cloud base and the ground and actually get a lightning strike? Well, let's talk about this. We think it starts with the precipitation as it starts to come out of the cloud, but it's also meeting positively charged particles coming up. So the step leader comes down, the upward streamer comes up, you break the insulator and you connect the circuit and voila, you've got yourself a powerful lightning strike, something that has the temperature of five times the surface of the sun. It happens about a billion to a billion and a half times here on the surface of the earth and it is an awesome, awesome thing as you can see. You just don't want to be on the other end of that circuit. That is the anatomy of a lightning strike.